We are tracking Hurricane Delta tonight. It has regained strength moving towards the Louisiana Gulf Coast, the same area that Hurricane Laura ravaged less than two months ago. Tens of thousands in Louisiana spent today getting out of there and in cities like Lake Charles, there's still so much debris left over from Laura that could turn into projectiles when Delta makes landfall. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is here now with the latest advisory. Craig. Yeah, you really have to feel for the folks in southwest Louisiana. They've already been through one hurricane now. Tonight they're facing another one that will be on top of them in 24 hours. And it's a strengthening hurricane at that. Winds up to 120 miles an hour, moving to the north-northwest now. So it's making that slow turn and taking aim on the southwest Louisiana coast, moving at 12 miles an hour. Pressure is kind of steadied out now. It's uh, very similar to when it made landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula and Category 3, about 285 miles to the south of Cameron, Louisiana. There are the warnings tonight, hurricane warnings for a good swath of south central and southwest Louisiana, even into extreme southeast Texas. Tropical storm warnings for Galveston all the way over to New Orleans. And then there's the threat comb. So it uh, basically arrives in 24 hours. The bad weather precedes it throughout the day tomorrow. The weather deteriorates, storm surge, waters begin to rise. Uh, could be as high as 11 feet near and to the right of where the center makes landfall tomorrow evening. Then after that, it's on to the north in a weakening uh, tropical system a lot of rains that moves on to the northeast. Here's a satellite loop through the evening, and you can see it's looking pretty impressive there, uh, getting a bit rounder. The eye is visible there as it moves on to the north. It's even showing up now on the local radars. You can see the center of it right there, and one of the NOAA buoys that's very close to it is now has, now has winds gusting up to, I think that is 83 miles an hour in that last little image there. We'll be back with a look at our forecast. It's looking pretty quiet, but pretty hot coming up in just a bit.